Hello, everybody. Holly Randall here. I am at the Browser's annual social, and I am so excited because my first red carpet guest is one of my dear friends and a big Browser's contract star, the one and only Cherie DeVille. Hi. I, I'm not surprised that I'm the first one because Alexis Fox and I have been here for like 15 minutes waiting outside. We're so punctual. <laughs> One of the many, many things that I love about you guys, Sheree and I actually like kind of have this joke that when we like meet up for lunch or whatever, yeah. we kind of race to see who gets there first. Yeah. I've only beaten her once. Yeah, I should just wait in the car for a while and just like give you that win. I'll be like, oh, I'm running late. But I'm so neurotic, I'd have to just be in the car waiting. I know, but this is like, this is a quality that is not present in many people these days, so it's something I appreciate so much. Same. I, I like I like anyone with type A vibes. Yeah. <laughs> type A for life. Type A for life. Yes. It's also my blood type. Is that a good or a bad thing? Oh. Too much A. Too much A? It's too much A. <laughs> I mean, we could take that. We could take that so many places. Well, I meant it in all the ways, so, yes. With one of my favorite MILFs in town, also another big Brazzers contract star, the one and only Alexis Fox. Hi, how are you? I am great. You are amazing at being able to like rock this outfit with the glasses. Like you really make it work. <laughs> I know, because I have to see. <laughs> I mean, I could walk around like that. You know, I might be blind a little bit. I feel like I look a lot better with the glasses off. <laughs> no, you look great with them on. <laughs> it's more for me to see my phone. <laughs> so this is the Brazzers Spring Social, which means, of course, that summer is just around the corner. Do you have any, like, hot girl summer plans? Well, I'm actually leaving for London on Tuesday to go out there and shoot some content and have some fun with people out there. What is one of your favorite things about London? Um, I just think, like, the architecture and, like, walking around the city and everything like that. Fresh new meat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the dick, basically. Yeah, I'm going there for the dick. Some good old, some good old spotted sausage. What is it? Yeah, I guess. I just want to hear the accent. <laughs> Sorry, is that okay? <laughs> it's okay. We can. Sexy. Sexy. We can forgive you for that. Hello, everybody. I'm here with the gorgeous Emma Hicks, somebody who I've been trying to get back on my podcast, but this bitch has been fucking busy. I'm sorry. I want to be on your podcast so bad. It's been years. It has been years, and a lot has happened since then. Yes. Big, you know, big, big thing is you've become a mom. Yes, I have a baby. I love my baby, and I'm married now. And um, yeah, life is like, life is really good right now. What has been like the biggest change that becoming a mom has done to your life? I feel like I, this sounds so cliche, but I feel like I have like a purpose now. Like I have a, like a reason to wake up in the morning and like I have so many animals because I like taking care of them and now I have like this bigger thing to take care of. It's just amazing. It's very rewarding, as you know. Yes, yes, I do know. I agree with you. I love my child. She's everything, but I have to say she's going through a very um, challenging toddler stage now and Boy, oh boy, do you have some fun days coming for you. I know. He was such a good baby, and we're like, fuck, we're really going to get it when he turns, like, two, three. Uh, so, yeah. But we're excited. All right, guys. Here with the one and only Angel Youngs. Angel, how are you doing this evening? I'm amazing. How are you? I am great. I am great. We were just reminiscing about your incredible Twisty Street of the Month shoot, which is one of the best Treat of the Month shoots I've ever done. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. If y'all haven't seen it, you should. What do you remember from that day? Um, okay, almost fainting. We were in this like warehouse or something, I don't know, garage, something hot as hell. And uh, what were we doing? Oh, water everywhere. It was it was kind of a blur, but it was amazing. And then we did the uh, the the hiking thing with Tommy. Love Tommy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so the we were in an old like hundred year old warehouse which had no air conditioning, yeah. um, no ventilation, yeah. and we had all this smoke. It was really dark. You were like in like these high lace up like latex boots and Rosalinda killed it with the hair and the makeup. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yes, Amber's telling us off camera that we had to get her Chick Fil A so she wouldn't pass out because. 
I thought you were maybe going to pass out. Yeah. Oh, I was like ready. Yeah. I had the fucking, we had electrolytes. Yeah. I have to say though, like in moments like that, it makes me really appreciate performers like you because you were such a trooper and you were like, we're getting this shoot done no matter what. And it came out so amazing and nobody would know that you almost died from heat exposure. <laughs> right. I know. I know. This close, y'all. This close. <laughs> and that's 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 the goal is to not, you know, show how much pain and agony and how much they're suffering to get the shots that you guys so lovingly jerk off to. Here with the gorgeous and fellow podcaster, Sylvia Sage. How are you tonight? I'm wonderful. How are you doing? I am so good. You know, I have to say, our podcast interview together was one of my favorite ones. You were so fucking hilarious. Thank you. I was so nervous to come on your show because I wanted to make sure I presented like respectable because I respect you so much, but still try to be my honest self. And that's a fine, fine line to ride. I feel like... We had a really good conversation about the proper dick pic to take. Of course, yeah. We actually had that conversation tonight between Cherie and Alexis and I. <laughs> well, well, now that we're on the subject, do you want to remind yeah. our listeners about what constitutes a good dick pic? I absolutely do. So clean up your background. That is number one. I cannot stand a dirty background or a dirty mirror. Um, make sure that you have something like a liquid death can. Next, for reference, I like to have a size reference. I'd like to see one hard one soft and I'd like you to trim just clean up that's the simple of simplest is clean the, okay so the soft one is is interesting why do you want to see it soft I want to see where we're coming from and then where we go it's like an adventure you know little ride magical dick ride <laughs> it's like the whole journey the beginning to the end yeah, exactly and I would love a cum shot if you can show me like a cum shot or a cum load so I can see like what it produces that's also good. so does it need to be like mid shot mid ejaculation or just the pool of cum afterwards I think just the pool is pretty impressive yeah I think that was another road we went down on the show as well we talked did we talk about fake cum oh yeah absolutely yeah there's so much fake cum in porn so much. Yeah. And it, you know, shockingly, it's a very difficult thing to recreate fake cum. But you can't make real cum look the same. It just doesn't photograph as well. It also know? like curdles and stuff like it's that. So After a while, it dries up, gets it, flaky. It's it kind of gross. so fast. It drives so quickly. Yeah. Real cum or bust. <laughs> I guess real cum is a bust, but you know. Well, if you want to hear more about Sylvia Sage's opinions on dicks and cum, you can check out her podcast at... Uh, YouTube. It's called Sexy Funny Raw. Fantastic. Sylvia, thank you so much. So good to see you. Wait, we need to do this again. Can we say this again? Hey guys, I'm here with the one and only Kira Noir, who's giving us like this gorgeous kind of Disney princess vibe going on here. Mm -hmm. I definitely don't take two dicks in my butt at the same time. I feel like you can be a princess and still take two dicks in your butt at the same time. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. So, Kira, I want to ask you, because I haven't seen you since then. I did not go to the AVN Award show, but I heard that somebody here won a really big award, and it wasn't me. Um, how did it feel to win Female Performer of the Year? It was really insane. Um, I almost wasn't able to go and accept my award because I almost went and sat with one of my friends that was sitting up in the higher tiers um, in the back. And they wouldn't let me sit there, so I had to sit in the front. And I was drunk. By the time they announced it, I didn't think I was going to win. And I really didn't okay. believe it for a whole while. The air. I'm trying to ask her about important things. <laughs> Kira! Okay, wait. One more time. One more time. Okay, ready? Kira's to get it too, though. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Okay. The very first black female to win Performer of the Year. How fucking did that feel? Uh, incredible. And I didn't believe that it was actually happening. I like went up on stage and it felt really surreal. I didn't know what to say. So hopefully if I ever win another award and I can go up on stage to accept it, I can have something a little bit more prepared. I, I just said thank you and thanked everyone who fucked me pretty much. <laughs> I have to say, like, I've never heard a crowd go as fucking insane as they did when you won that award. I mean, how did that feel, knowing that, like, your community, like, your colleagues, your industry was, like, so fucking happy for you? It was so heartwarming. I, I have been doing this for about 10 years total, and 
this is my family. I love it. I hate it. I do everything with everyone. So it's really nice that, to know that like I've made so many friends in this industry. Well, I got to say, like nobody deserves it more than you, and I'm so so happy for you. Thank you so much. Here with the gorgeous, busty, your favorite Australian blonde, Savannah Bonds. Hey, excited to be here. So, Savannah, um, it, we're about almost halfway through 2023. What are you looking forward to this year? Or is there anything that you've already done this year that you're very excited about? Um, so I recently went to Miami. I've never been there before and that was amazing. I like went for vacation and then I shot a little bit as well. So that was the highlight of the year. I don't think I'm going to beat that unfortunately, but yeah. I mean, we are only like halfway through the year. So I mean, who knows what other amazing things may happen. There is potential for more, but yeah, that was, that was great. <laughs> Any favorite scenes that you've come out since you started in this industry? I mean, you're not new, but, you know, like you've been in for what, like a few years now? Five years, is it? Yeah, nearly, yeah, like four or five. Um, but my all-time favorite scene is my gangbang for Jules Jordan. Um, I always wanted to shoot that, so I think that will always be my favorite. Maybe there'll be another one, I don't know. <laughs> what is it about gangbangs that you love so much, or that particular one? Um, well, I guess because it was shot for Jules, the way he shoots aesthetically is like my vibe. And then what I like about it, I would say just having like the hands all over me, all the attention from all the guys. And I think it just turns out really hot. It's like very appealing to watch. So, I mean, there's so many people out there that think that gangbangs are like a violation of the women and that like the woman couldn't possibly enjoy it but so many performers like yourself I've spoken to have said that they love it because it's like they're the center of the tension they're being worshipped by all these hot guys how does it how do you see it um yeah I would say you're in control and you're like the one that has the power especially when you're on set for porn um for a company like that you know you have a lot of power and like access to say no or pretty much whatever you want. So I would say the opposite of feeling like you're in a bad position per se. See guys, gang bangs are a good thing. Savannah Bond has spoken. Gorgeous Ivy Wolf here who, did you like come with your own food prop? I did, I did actually, yeah. This is gummy bear cotton candy. You want some? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it's actually really fucking good. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. They're actually serving this, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I legitimately <laughs> thought when you walked up that you can't, this was your prop because it goes with your outfit really well. I was like, oh, yeah, perfect. Perfect. The completing piece, yes. <laughs> I was like, this bitch knows how to accessorize. Yes, if there's one thing I know how to do at this point. Yeah. <laughs> So how have you been? Like, I love watching you on social media and like the journey that you go through. You're so open about everything in your life, which I, I personally find really inspiring. So, so I mean, like, what's going on for you right now? Mm, I just released my new song, my first single ever. If you go on Spotify and search Ivy Wolf, fuck everything. That will be my very first song. Wow, I mean, that is that is a strong title. Can you tell us a little bit what the song's about? So it was actually written as a love song to someone else, and then I kind of realized that it was actually a love song to myself. And so now it's kind of a ballad about fuck everything, fuck the rules, I just want to be with you, yourself. That's the chorus. <laughs> I love that, and I love like, I mean, the song itself speaks about like the journey that I see you're always going on, you know, like com always coming back to yourself. Yeah, always coming back to yourself. Yeah, that's like big part of the song. It's literally just like, it's talking about like losing yourself over and over again and letting yourself go and how not this time. This time, fuck everything, fuck the rules. I just want to be with you. I love that so much. Well, it's so good to see you. I don't want to keep you from all the amazing cotton candy. No all of the goodies that we have here. And I'm actually fucking starving, so. Oh, so you're like, yes, yes, I do want that cotton candy. Okay, I am here with your brand new Brazzers contract star, Scarlet Scandal. <laughs> Hello, you guys. 
So this is very exciting. How did this all come about? Oh my gosh. Well, it took a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of um, patience, but everything works out with time and we're here now, baby, and I'm loving every second of it. So what do you have planned for your contract with Brazzers? Can you tell us? Any hints? Um, well, I have something extremely, extremely exciting and new coming. I don't know if I can talk about it yet, but it's extremely exciting. It's something the industry has never seen before. That's all I can say. Very excited for that. So that's like the main thing. I'm waiting. I can't say anything about it yet, though. <laughs> so what is it about Brazzers that, like made you make that that leap that decision to sign a contract with them specifically um they're the fucking best they're literally the best they take care of you they treat you like a queen they always put you on a pedestal you never have to worry when you go on set with them they make sure your feelings are always taken care of and it was it was a done deal for me literally i didn't think twice about it i was like yes i'm there <laughs> i want it <laughs> Well, we are absolutely looking forward to the magic that you and Brazzers make together. So congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs>